All right, guys, so I'm gonna go over uh, how to do some engraving on a uh, slate, slate piece, slate coaster, whatever you wanna call it. Got, thing on, got these on Amazon, same link in the description here. I'm just gonna go over uh, how to do some quick editing uh, using GIMP here. So right here, you see the picture is in uh, color. If you try to use the big GIMP and plugin, you notice that it won't let you. Reason for this is because there's an alpha layer right here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. Just gonna right click the image, go to layers, transparency. Right here, sorry, remove alpha channel. All right, so that's all gone now. Big Gimpin is available. Gonna do one quick thing before we do that. Gonna go to colors. Nope. Gonna go to mode first. Grayscale, see how it looks. If we're happy with that, we're good there. One thing you can do if you do wanna edit these is uh, go back here and go to uh, colors, brightness and contrast. Uh, I like to edit these like this as a curve, make it darker. So here we're just gonna darken it just a little bit. Bring some of those whites out a little bit more. So I think that's pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click okay. Now here that you'll notice, since this image is a grayscale, you'll not be able to use the big imp and plugin. That's fine. We're gonna go ahead and change it back to RGB after we made our edits and Big Gimpin is available. You can go ahead and click that. You're gonna leave it at 100 by 100, 600 DPI on tile, meaning that this slate is black. You do want a negative image. So you can go click OK. All right, you can go back out and look at the view. So that is our picture there. I'm gonna go ahead and file, export as. Export as. All right, come back in Lightburn. I'll show you what to do there for the settings. All right, got Lightburn open here back out of this a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and import our image right here. Open it up. So you see the image here. Uh, one quick thing, if you look right here, it shows width and height in millimeters. Uh, something I like to do is change this to inches. Kind of see how many inches it is. So I'm looking at about four inches. That's the size of the coaster, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that. And look at the settings here for the image. We're gonna do 2600 at 75%. Maybe change the DPI just a little bit higher here. And leave it on grayscale, see how that turns out. Uh, also fill shapes individually and click OK. And those will be our settings. We'll come back with the actual burn here. All right, we're back. We got the laser focused. Uh, hit the shift and frame here, so check it. All right, looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start it. Uh, project it, looks like it's gonna be about 40 minutes or so. So we can go ahead and uh, see how this comes out.
All right, looking like it's all done. Take a look. Came out okay. All right, we're gonna try to throw a little gloss on it. See how that comes out. All right, did a quick coat of a uh, clear coat. Let's see here. Did uh, darken the image a little bit. But again, personal preference, if you like it like that. If not, you can leave it matte. I just noticed that it doesn't get a lot of uh, protection if you are using it as a coaster. But that's everything. So if you do want to engrave into Slate, you can. Uh, just go ahead and leave any questions or comments in the comment section. I'll put a link in the description for these uh, Slate coasters here. About 20 bucks for 10 or so. All right, guys. Thanks.